सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द माय यूट्यूब चैनल के एस ऑटोमेशन तो इन टूडे लेक्चर आई गोना शेयर अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट ए बैकअप इन फैक्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ फैक्ट्री टॉक व्यू एस सी एप्लीकेशन मैनेजर इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू डोंट नो व्हाट इज द फैक्ट्री टॉक व्यू एप्लीकेशन मैनेजर सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड द वीडियो ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉप इन दिस टूटोरियल आई विल शेयर हाउ टू क्रिएट ए बैकअप सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड If you new on my YouTube channel, so please hit the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel for never miss new update. Here you can see local station. If you created your application in distribution, network distribution, so you have to select network distribution. Otherwise, if you created your SCADA application in network station, then you have to select network station. And otherwise, if you created your SCADA backup in local station then you have to choose local station so you have to choose click on local station it's buffering it will take few seconds after that is open you can see here create and a backup also here you can see common backup restore you can also choose from here active log and also from here create a backup it's only active log it will create log file and it from here you backup here you can see backup you can also apply box root it is a one box in my previous video i already told how to apply box root so you can, it is a one box backup and application data such as d data log click on it here you can see your if you created multiple application you able to see here multiple application in the local station so i will show this particular backup for youtube learning so click on your backup and here it is area customize area you have to choose area server type it is a my server type type of the server and here server name you can see you in this server your application is saving all data like alarm tag like uh, all data like tag alarms animation everything so you have to select data log if you want to data log you have to select data log encrypt and file encrypt the backup so with the help of encrypt the backup you can select encrypt the backup but before select encrypt the backup you have to aware if you select encrypt the backup example here asking the password and confirm password you have to write password but one tip before write password you have to write in anywhere for your confirmation or for your information if you going to send this particular backup to any other person or if you thinking like you are created backup but only you know how you can store this backup with the help of this software with the help of this part password so you have to write otherwise you don't want to password so click deselect the encrypt encrypt the password and here finalize and being backup always remember you have to change name of the archive file here is it you can see archive name example one also you can write a date example today what is the date of the what is the today date today date is 1-18-2025 always remember it will not take slash and also dash so you have to write in underscore or without space or without com next is target folder in the target folder you can see c user public public document c user means c drive in the user in public public document rs enterprise sc archive file you can find this particular file after archive or after create this particular after create this backup if you want to choose another folder so click on it three dot 
you can choose anywhere where you want to select where you want to put this particular backup c drive d drive or desktop administrator document anywhere according to your requirement click on backup now you can see current task checking circuit of the directory server it will be checking that back directory server i will cover in my pre coming video what is the directory server and how you can use the directory server so backup right now backup has been created you can see first what he do what is done by the software it's checking file file means file is it's a checking archive file then checking the disk escape space disk is available or not is particular computer or checking the data of directory server server is available or not server is okay or not and also pre checking complete getting hmi information all hmi information means related to hmi server or related to hmi tag backup packet of the directory it's created backup then it's compressing then after download and packaging in co configure file packaging log file and compress the backup for less mb more mb to less mb you know about archive backup and uh, you know archive backup you compress last is finalize backup completed it take 227 31 millisecond you, if you want to know log file so click on view log you can see all about log that you have to you have done and you can close it close so this particular method you can use for create backup of any factory dog view application manager any factory dog view application so thank you for for watching my video keep learning keep going